So now that you've seen the cane technique, I'm going to show you why it's important to be in step. Normally it doesn't matter if, if the obstacle or the drop-off is perpendicular to you. It doesn't matter if you're using your right foot or your left foot, the cane's on the right or the left. But when the drop-off is diagonally across your path, then you, it does matter. It's very important um, as to whether you're in step or not. I've got here some carpets that are going to represent a drop-off. It could be a curb, could be a tr off the edge of a transit platform, onto the train tracks, um, could be a stairway, could be anything that's a drop in surface, a drop-off. It's going diagonally from my uh, left backward down toward my right. And to show you the difference, it might help you understand, I'm going to walk toward the drop-off, quote-unquote, um, without the cane, just my normal pace. And just notice that when I'm walking with my uh, foot starting on my right, on my left, that uh, I'm going to reach the edge of the carpet in three steps. So we have one, two, and I'm over the edge. I just stepped over the edge. That's my normal pace. Now we're going to do it with, with starting with my foot on the right, and again, normal pace, so we have one, two, at three, I'm still just behind the, the edge, I'm still on solid ground. So now we're going to, um, the cane is going to be the same regardless, and what I've got is uh, having the cane going from right, from left to right, but just barely short of the edge, so that you don't know that the edge is there. And then the cane follows along the top of the edge, so that again, it doesn't drop over the edge, you have no warning. I'm going to use touch technique, which means that I just touch on each side of the arc, rather than sliding it. And so I'm going to start doing it in step. And so I've got the cane to the left, my right foot is forward. I take another step forward, forward, now the cane is over the edge and my left foot is still not over the edge. So I have a full step of warning. My next foot would have gone over the edge, but I had warning one step before I got there. Now we're going to do it again, but this time I'm going to be out of step. Cane is the same. It's on my left, but now my left foot is forward. So we take a, a step on the right, left, and both the cane and the foot go over the edge at the same time. I had no warning. That's using touch technique where I'm just touching rather than uh, rolling along the edge. I'm going to do it again with rolling. And you'll see that uh, with rolling, you have a little bit more warning, but not much. So in step, cane is on the left, foot, the right foot is forward. I'm rolling it now to the right. It's not quite reached the edge. So I don't know it's there, left foot's forward, left, right foot steps forward, the cane goes along the edge and is on the left and I still don't know it's there. And now as I take my foot, my left foot forward, it's still on solid ground and the cane tells me, oops, there's an edge. Now we're going to do it the outer step. And you'll see that when I'm using constant contact technique, um, with constant contact on the surface, I have a little bit more warning, more warning than I did with touch technique, but not much, not even a, a full step. So my left foot's forward, the cane is on the left. I slide forward and take a, a step with my right foot, slide the cane to the left, take a, another step with my left foot. My next foot, oh, I have the edge, but oh, I was halfway through the step before I realized, so I had less than a, a full step before, uh, with no warning when my cane went over the edge. So that's why it's important to be in step.